Get ready for some AMI blind life hacks. Hi, I'm Alex Smythe. In today's day and age, men are often expected to wear ties in a number of occasions. But if you have low vision or no vision, the task of tying a tie can be very daunting. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps so that next time the need arises, you can do so with confidence. So grab a tie and follow along. We're tying the half winter knot, one of the most common ways to tie a tie. I have my shirt that's all buttoned up and the collar is popped. With most ties, there is a wide end and a narrow end of the tie. I position the wide end on the right side of my body and the narrow end on the left side. I position the narrow end of the tie to reach the fifth button down on my button shirt. So first step, I'm taking the wide end of the tie and I'm gonna wrap it around the front of the narrow end. Now the point of contact is about an inch and a half down from the collar. The back of the wide end is gonna be facing out back on the right hand side. Next, I'm gonna take the wide end, I'm pulling it through the front of the gap between the tie and the collar. Pulling out on the right hand side so I still have the back of the tie facing out and it's back on the right hand side. Next, I wrap the wide end of the tie over top of the narrow end so the front is facing out but it's on the left hand side. Next, I take the wide end and I'm gonna pull it from the back of the gap between the collar and the knot and pull it up over top. Now, the wide end of the tie is sitting over top of the knot and the narrow end of the tie. The last thing you do, you take the wide end of the tie and pull it through the loop at the front of the knot. It's all about adjusting, so you're gonna pull the narrow end of the tie tighter so the knot is up at the collar. Finally, you just pop the collar down, adjust the tie so it's lined up with all your buttons, and you're good to go. For more blind life hacks, go to youtube.com forward slash accessible media.